Hello and welcome to TechPlot360 EX 2016 R2. This video will go over how to use a 3D mouse in TechPlot360. Once you have your data in, one of the first things most people want to do is rotate their data to investigate all sides of the 3D data. However, users often spend a lot of their time working between CAD, meshing, CFD programs, and TechPlot, which each have different methods of rotation. Now that the 3D Connection 3D Mouse is supported, you can unify the 3D controls for your dataset between many 3D graphic programs. Moving the 3D Mouse allows smooth rotation in multiple directions at once when in default mode. Note that you can also switch to Dominant Mode, which allows a single axis of rotation at a time by going into the 3D Connection Properties panel, in which I have a button for, then going to Advanced Settings, and toggle on Dominant. As we can see here, as I rotate the knob, only one axis of motion is moving at a time. This is helpful for newer users, as it gives a simple way to learn the actions of the mouse. We'll go ahead and turn off Dominant Mode. TechPlot also supports the default view mappings such as ISO, Fit, Front, Right. For this video, we are using the Midrange Space Mouse Pro, which has four buttons that I can set up to custom buttons. Right now, I have Isometric View 1, Bottom View, Left View, and Undo. I can change my ISO button to the O key by going and changing it to O. By doing this, you can reset the origin of rotation to where the regular mouse cursor is touching a surface. When in default view mode, orthographic mode, the object moves in as you zoom. Then, if you press Alt while moving the 3D mouse, it will move the clipping plane. This option is useful because you can cut back the outer layer of the objects and investigate inside of your dataset. TechPlot also supports a second view mode, Perspective, in which the mouse movements are slightly different. We can change the mode to Perspective by going into View, 3D View Details, and clicking on Use Perspective. In this mode, when we zoom in, we're moving the viewer position, thinking about it kind of like a camera, as opposed to the object in orthographic mode. This is useful as you can move the viewer position inside the object and view around. In this mode, it is critical that you update the center of rotation by hitting the O key or the button mapped as O in the 3D mouse as you move the object, which helps keep the object in control. If we press Alt while zooming, the view will zoom in similarly to a photography camera by changing the field of view. You can explore all of these modes by using the 3D View Details dialog as we zoom around and following how the field of view and viewer width is changed as the mouse is moved in different ways. Finally, the 3D mouse is currently only available on Windows platforms. This concludes how to use a 3D mouse in TechPlot 360. You can download a free trial of TechPod on our website, and thank you for watching.